Hello guys, welcome to MK Mobile. So, I'm sure most of you probably already heard about the recent glitch in MK Mobile that allows you to get unlimited rewards from a Danian Tower, a fatal Danian Tower. So basically, probably every single YouTuber that plays MK Mobile on YouTube already made a video about it. So I'm not gonna just make a video on how to do it. I'm just gonna quickly mention how to do it, but before I do, I'm gonna tell you right now, nobody knows if this is bannable. I can't confirm or deny that you will get banned for this. But, knowing the history, you will probably gonna get banned if you abuse it too much. Do you remember, way back when the quests were just introduced into the game, there was one glitched quest that uh, you could skip. The cost to skip the quest was less than the reward that the quest gives, which pretty much is poor game design. They just designed the quest the way that if you just start it and skip it right away with souls, you're still gonna get positive souls reward. That glitch was abused to the ground until they fixed it. People grinded thousands of souls in their accounts using that glitch. It wasn't a hack, it was just literally something that developers put into the game, a mistake that developers made, and people used it, and they all got banned without, uh, without any chance to get their accounts back. Because their terms of service states, if you found a game-breaking glitch, you are not allowed to abuse it and you have to report it to, this, uh, to the team immediately. If you use or abuse any glitch you find, you're gonna get banned. Even if that glitch is just a part of the game, it's just the oversight of the developers. So guys, I I don't recommend doing this glitch on your actual main account that you care about, because if, you get, if it gets banned, you're gonna lose it forever. But it is pretty fun to try on, on the accounts uh, that you don't care about. So uh, in this video, I'm not gonna go and just show you how to do the glitch and uh, all that stuff. I mean, I will. But I will also include a detailed breakdown. I have a footage. So this is how you do the glitch. Basically, you just click pause. And then after you click pause, you need to uh, click quit and then the back button again. And then do it as many times as you can until the game glitches out. Let me try this. It, it's gonna take a lot of tries. At least it took me a lot of tries. You need to be very precise with timing and fast. So something like this. Well, I messed up. This, this might take a couple tries. It took me like 10 tries first time to do it. But as you see, I got uh, a couple rewards in this one. Uh, so when you do it successfully, you will basically, the game will glitch out and will not load the finishing sequence and you will be able to do uh, click back and then quit unlimited amount of times and get unlimited rewards. Technically, is how it works. So I did this glitch on a separate new account. I made a new account for this and I did it 1000 times on both towers for the scientific purpose to find out which towers have better rewards for losing. The fatal tower or the normal tower. And honestly, results will surprise you. And I did it! Look at that! Second try! Basically, once this happens, when it, the screen goes black, you can just do this unlimited amount of times. Just click back, and then uh, click quit. Like, sometimes it will not, like, it will glitch out like this, but it's, it's okay. You should just wait for a little bit, and it, it should come back. You just click back again. Sometimes the game will crash, it's okay. But technically, you can you can do this as many times as you can. Again, in the footage that you're gonna see in a minute, I did it 1,000 times for every tower. I used the uh, BlueStacks emulator on PC because it's much faster. You can only do this on Android, unfortunately. So yeah, you do this a couple of times, and then after you restart the game, you're gonna receive a bunch of rewards. And now when you restart the game, when the game loads, you're gonna receive all the rewards for losing every time you clicked uh, quit bat uh, button. As you see, I, I didn't get that much, but you can get this to much higher numbers. And uh, 
I'm doing this video in hopes that this is gonna get fixed. Look at that. For in just one minute, I grinded 35 souls, bunch of coins, some gear. You can get uh, tower gear from this. Let's just roll the footage of what I got from Fatal Tower 1000 losses, from Normal Tower 1000 losses, and then we're gonna make a detailed comparison. I made an actual uh, table that compares every single thing you can get from the tower, which tower has a better chance to get it. Let's roll. So after running this glitch for 1000 times, roughly, I open the game and I get all these beautiful rewards. It took a while and the game was very slow. I was doing it on the blue stacks, but it worked. And so we have really nice table of results from 1000 losses in normal Edanian Tower. Let's see what we got. Starting off with lots of coins. We got a million coins from 1000, which means roughly you get about 1000 coins per battle. 700 souls, which is pretty cool considering it took me about maybe half an hour. We got a bunch of uh, obviously special attack upgrade cards. There is going to be a lot of support cards after this. Support cards and uh, special attack cards are the most common things you can get from here. Next, we're gonna get a bunch of common gear. Uncommon gear. W including a lot of tower gear. I I'm gonna show you the full list of the stuff we got uh, in the end of this opening, and you'll be able to see every single piece. Look, rare tower gear. Amazing. A lot of basic rare gear. And another tower piece. That is amazing. Now we're getting a lot of gold cards pretty decent amount and now it's time to see the whole list of stuff look at that souls coins characters gear look at a divine tornadic pauldron three of them sapphire dagger also three no kitana's gear i don't know why but kitana's gear avoids me on every account on ios account and on, on this account and my beginner account i just cannot get kitana's brutality pieces for the life of me we see lots of support cards. That is fantastic. Look at that. All of this stuff from around 30 minutes of grinding normal Edenian Tower using this glitch. Again, do it on your own risk. Don't do it on your main account unless you want to risk it getting banned. Do it on a new account like I did. This account is literally a few hours old. You don't need anything to start it. And so you can do the glitch from the very start. All right, next we... Glitch the Fatal Edenian Tower. And you would probably think rewards are going to be so much better. Well, look at that. Look at that amount of souls and coins. That is amazing. We're going to, again, see the full breakdown in the end of this clip. See all of these support cards. Again, 1,000 losses. Roughly, I can't guarantee it's exactly 1,000, but it's maybe plus, minus 10. So it's, it's a pretty decent... Uh, Pretty decently uh, organized group of losses. Getting lots of support cards. If you want support cards, guys, this is the way to get them. That is incredible. Now, look at those. Oh my god, the amounts of it, uncommon gear and rare gear. And again, not a single Kitana piece. This is just ridiculous. I don't understand this game. It just doesn't like Kitana pieces. And we got an epic piece. That's... that. Let's go. That is amazing. All right, the full breakdown. 14,000 souls. I mean, 1.4 thousand souls. 1.7 million coins, pretty much double. Bunch of gold cards, epic piece. I didn't get an epic piece from Common Tower, but I know that it's possible. I've seen people do it. It's just the chances are extremely low. Now we got all of these beautiful uh, gears. We got one piece of each and come piece of rare gear, which is crazy, right? This is a fatal tower, my friends. We got a decent amount of uncommon gear. Pretty much almost maxed out all of the pieces. I mean, they're maxed out after both runs. That is for sure. And uh, lots of support cards, which is, which is nice. So, yeah. After all of this, it's time to crunch some numbers. I prepared this chart so we can take a look and make a really good comparison. I understand that uh, the pool, just 1,000 losses on each tower is probably not enough to get a very good data. 
but it's the start. If you guys, if you guys give me two thousand likes on this video, I'm gonna make three thousand losses on each tower, and we're gonna make a very detailed comparison. All right, guys, it's time for comparison. Before I show it, let me know in the comments if you think that Fatal Tower is gonna win in every single category because it's a Fatal Tower. It should be. It should have better drop rates for even for losing, right? Let's find out. And also. Please leave a like on this video. If we get 2,000 likes, I'm gonna make even better comparison when I'm gonna do 3,000 losses in each tower and we're gonna compare the results. This video took me a very long time to make, so the best way to show appreciation is to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And now let's dive into results. All right, let's dive right into it. As you see, there is surprisingly many red uh, color in the Fatal Tower, which means the, the Fatal Tower lost a lot of categories to the Normal Tower. For example, I got more support and ability cards from the Normal Tower than from the Fatal Tower, which, let's, let's be honest, nobody cares about. The most surprising thing, I got three times more rare tower gear from Normal Tower than I got from the Fatal. Again, could have gotten super lucky, that's why we need a better test. To see a better test, leave a like right now 2000 likes and i'm gonna make even larger numbers of tries to see even more uh even better results now the fatal tower absolutely destroyed the normal tower in terms of souls and coins it's pretty much double souls and coins you get than the normal tower which makes sense also epic tower gear you uh, i got one epic tower piece out of 1000 tries and i got zero from normal and honestly i've run I've probably run another thousand battles just trying to record this test. My game would crash, I would fail uh, to record and stuff like that. Anyway, from another probably thousand runs on Normal Tower, I still didn't pull a single epic piece of gear. But I, I'm pretty sure it's possible. I, I think I saw people do it, but it's just I didn't get lucky enough. So in terms of epic tower gear and souls and coins, Fatal Tower is the number one choice for grinding. Now, I'm pretty sure nobody cares about level up cards, uh, common and common gear. For uncommon tower gear, the chances are pretty much identical, 15 against 16 pieces. But for the rare tower gear, we got 6 out of normal and 2 out of the fatal. It still blows my mind. That's incredible. So yeah, this is pretty much all the numbers. Again, do it on your own risk, guys. There is a very high chance uh, if you overdo it, your account is going to get banned. So either make a new account and have fun with this, or maybe your beginner account that you don't really care about that much. I would not do this on my main account, and I cannot do this on my main account because my main account is iOS and this glitch is only available on Android. Uh, technically, this information is not that useful at the moment, but it, it will be useful once this glitch gets patched. And you will be able to see which towers are better to grind losses. Honestly, I, I think we need a better test. Because I kind of feel like Fatal Tower would catch up, give it another 2,000 losses or so. We need a better test and I'm going to do it if this video gets 2,000 likes. Because it takes it a takes long time to record, those, uh, record the footage, get all the data, compare it. It's just, it's just a lot of work. So guys, the best way to thank me for all the hard work is to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. So yeah, let me know in the comments if your results from grinding losses on Fatal and Normal Tower were consistent with this table. I'm kind of curious, did I just get super lucky on the Normal Tower? Or is it actually better for grinding a lot of stuff? However, most of the people only care about Epic Gear and Soul, so then the Fatal Tower is obvious winner. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments if you think this video was useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Goodbye.